All right, folks, uh, hopefully I can get a good shot here. I've had some wind issues. What I've got here is aluminum square stock, quarter inch thick, uh, nothing plain to it. Neodymium magnet. Now this is very powerful neodymium. You gotta be careful when you're playing with these. 400 pounds of uh, force there. So obviously this is a non-magnetic uh, material here because the magnet won't stick to it. But if you watch, if I slightly slope that and drop that magnet down it, see how slow that magnet went down that? I can actually increase that slope quite a bit. Once it gets to a certain point, it'll roll over. Uh, what you're seeing there is something that's called electromotive force being created within this aluminum. It's basically in the shape of a coil. Uh, so when you move a magnet past a conductor coil, you generate electricity. Uh, so what's happening here, especially like say, I'll drop that magnet down the center of it, and you'll notice how long that took to come out of there. What's going on is, as it's fallen through, the motion of the magnet going by the conductor is creating electricity, which in therefore is in return turning this into an electromagnetic coil. So it's a big electromagnet, which is being charged by the motion of that magnet falling. So here's what I'm going to do for you. Do two demonstrations. I'm going to lay it down flat and move that without touching it with the neodymium. And then I'm going to flip it upright and give you a bird's eye view looking down the tube and drop the magnet down it so you can see it. Well, let me not touch it here. There we go. That's Once you get right at the right distance there, you can really get that thing moving without touching it. So that's an interesting property of it. Uh, some of the things I've thought of uh, to use this for is elevator security systems for uh, fall protection. Say if your elevator was uh, lined with a bunch of these off some channels off to the side, you have aluminum C channel on the side of the elevator so that the elevator would never fall any faster than what that would do going down the aluminum. Uh, there's ways you could set that up for protection on an elevator. Uh, some of the other things are is that if these were shipping containers like cargo containers and you had magnetic floors, when it's at rest, that would settle right down on top of the magnet. But as it got into motion, it would actually lift up. You can feel that when you go over it. So you could actually create a hovering effect by putting something into motion over a bed of these, especially if it was in a magnetic or an aluminum uh, container or copper. So let me set up the camera so you can look down it real quick and uh, we'll go from there. All right, here we go. I'm gonna set this aluminum pipe in here, square stock. I'm gonna drop that magnet down it and let you see what's taking place here. So I'm gonna do it a few times so you can get a good visible a visual of what's going on. So you can see, obviously, sometimes it can actually almost fall through there without touching any of the sides. You'll notice the, the aluminum gives like a bounce when I drop it in there. I can feel the weight of the magnet being displaced into the aluminum without the magnet actually touching. I hope you enjoyed. <laughs>